What's up, guys? Mike back again today, MF Ape. Thanks for tuning in once again. Right, today we've got a 100 watt box mod. This one was sent over from Yostatech for the purpose of this review. And it's called the Liverpool 100. Here it is. I've got the like, gun metal sort of color. We've got the intake RTA sitting on top. So, without further ado, Let's go down to the table, have a good look around this mod and the packaging, and then we'll come back up top and I'll give you my thoughts. Okay, see you down there in a bit. Right, here's the box then. We've got Yosta there, Liverpool 100 box there. There's the website address. On the sides, we've got Liverpool 100 box. Same on that side. On the back, we've got a little bit of information about it. Contents, QR code, made in China, and we've got black, light grey, or seven colour. On these sides, we have Yoster's logo as well, and we have thumb cutouts to make it easy to put it off. So inside, you'll get a USB firmware update and charging cable. There's your mod. Have a look at that in a second. Pull off that. We get a little pull-out user manual, but I'll put all the specifications on the screen for you. And, of course, we have a warranty card for what they're worth. Right, so here's the little device. It's a bit rattly, but that's because if we take this back panel off, we've got an 18650 adapter inside. So we're just going to leave that for a moment. Look at the front. So we've got a hexagon shape fire button. Nice and clicky. These aren't buttons. These are just uh, what look like some sort of transformer. We've got LED display lights here, and it also comes through here as well. Up and down buttons. Nice click to them as well. Not raised uh, as much as the fire button, but they're there. We've got the USB port around there. Liverpool 100 on the side. So, feels really nice this one. It's got a little bit of weight to it. I believe it's made out of a zinc alloy. Look at the bottom. Designed by Yostatech. We've got battery venting slots in here and a couple of Phillips screws. On top, sprung loaded 510 pin. It's quite a narrow pin on this one as well, which is good. Really long throw and very easy to move. I've had no trouble with it connecting with anything. We do have the Yoster brand in there and got a little indentation on the top and bottom as well as on these sides. So no rough edges. It's really smooth, feels very nice in the hand. It really fits like a glove, this one. So we've got uh, magnets that hold the door on. Now this goes a particular way around. I think it will work both way around, but uh, we do have the logo, so I tend to have it with it up. Look inside there. Right, this is annoying because the polarity, you can just about see it, but it's in clear, transparent, basically. So I was, it took me a few minutes to work out where, where the actual were. I thought it might have been on here. But Yoster said, you should have had that in black on here and white on here. So it just makes life a little bit easier. So it will fit your 21700s. We'll put one in now. Here is the Samsung 30T. 3000 milliamp hour, 35 amp continuous discharge. So plug it in like so. So that's that. If you want to put an 18650 in, here's a 20S. I wouldn't normally use a 20S because these are really for your mechanical mods. But um, presume that's going to be on the positive. Let's see what happens. Will it work? Yeah, it's coming on. So that fits in there nicely. No battery rattle or anything. Put this back in. And there we go. So it turns itself on and then you're presented with this uh light display and we'll go on to this in a minute but basically i don't think you can turn this off and i haven't managed to do it anyway so we're just going to put a little atty on here but we'll just look at the display first oh it's so annoying but we've got a lovely display we've got on the top we have uh what does that say? Power. 62.5 there. 
we've got the time duration we've got the voltage resistance puff counter and battery and they're all in different colors so it makes uh, reading it very easy indeed in fact let's just uh, go in a little bit more but as you can see with these lights it's just outrageous but we're going to screw a little tank on we've got the elevate on here serpent elevate new load old load so press up to say new 0.23 ohms right so while we're here let's just have a look at the wattage it should go up to 100 watts there you go round robins back to five so always good to see a round robin but there you can see a better look at the screen and it's starting to do its light display again this really is a wind up this mod but uh, three clicks right you can see power flashing now so you can scroll through nickel titanium 316 clear puff counter bypass mode bypass mode basically just uses the voltage left in the battery much like a mechanical mod and then back to power mode so let's just select one for example there's nickel so that's the scroll through celsius round robins into fahrenheit lovely quick scroll right to get to change the wattage i can't remember what it is i think it's either two clicks or three clicks yeah it's two clicks so now you can adjust the wattage you can just see there and it will go all the way up to 80 watts and then back to 20. so that's how you do it in temperature control three clicks if you want to do the same in titanium stainless steel etc back to power mode and that is that guys right we're back up top of the yosla tech liverpool 100 box mod and as you can see this is a light show fest this particular one <laughs> we'll get on to that in a minute though let's talk about the device fit and finish and all of that well when i first got it i thought uh, i thought it looked quite good it looks um like a transformery esque type going on. We've got nice, comfortable uh, back panel on it. Uh, the material, I think it's a, a zinc alloy, a little bit of weight to it. Takes you 21700s, 2700s, and 18650s with the adapter that is included. So that is definitely a pro. But we've got some angular edges, but they're not sharp or anything. We have got venting on the, the bottom nice clicky fire buttons the screen is awesome on here we've got a full color screen with different colors for each of the settings the parameters on there so all of that is very good <laughs> it's off again but um i'm gonna have to get on to the biggest card that this particular device has got it basically as soon as you touch a button it starts um, doing a light show and you can't do anything about it uh, let's go, and it doesn't just stay in one colour because I've got the I Georgina I can sometimes run that in blue if I fancy it but this one is just full on multi-coloured light show whenever you click the button and I tried my hardest to find out how to turn it off I looked through the manual went through all the settings tried to do different permutations and I couldn't figure how to do it so yes Yostatec uh if this can indeed, I did email them, but obviously with Chinese New Year and everything, I haven't had a response. But um, you really need to put an off switch to that light show that's on this particular mod, because it really is off off putting. And um, yeah, but uh, anyway, that aside, what about the performance and the rest of it? Like I said already, the fire button's nice and clicky, and the parameter buttons are easy to locate as well and i've had no issues with them they're not as protruding as maybe they could be but no real dramas with it so we've got the fatality styly um, on top and we've got it at 70 watts so let's just give this a little hit we got a um samsung 30t in here 35 amp continuous discharge rating battery 0.12 build here we go
this tank is awesome by the way all right that's 70 watts hits really hard this one no quibbles at all let's put it up to its max 100 watts Now, I haven't got too many single battery mods. And I've got the top side, that's a 90 watt mod, but um, this is the first one I've got that goes up to 100. And I actually do believe it's um, getting quite close to that because that really is quite a hard hit on the fatality. I've been rocking this with mountain lung tanks as well, around 20 watts. Let's just put one on there just to show you what it looks like because the fatality is a uh, a bit too big for it really really that the most you're going to get on here is um i think a 26 will go on it we'll just try the all vape dual tank that's a 26 yeah 25 probably 25 actually it's more or less flush but because of the bevels uh it's a slight overhang on it but Put the Saver RT8, that's the 22mm jobby. Because this is what I like using single battery mods for is a mouth lung. So running that around 20 watts, uh, you're getting really good battery life out of this. To be honest, even with those uh, with the 30Ts in, rocking it around 60, 70 watts, you're getting a good half a day or more out of it. Uh, but running at 20 watts, you're getting a day, day and a half. It goes up in point 0.1 increments, which is a little bit annoying. It still thinks I've got a point 0.12 build on it. Let's try that again. Right, new load. Let's press the right button this time. 1.06 ohm. really good hitting device this one like i say the major con though is this light show that just goes on continuously and it really is off putting but if it didn't have that i would definitely give this a thumbs up but as it is unless you like your multicolor uh, rave going on in the background every time you hit a button then it probably won't be for you but um uh, or it probably will be for you <laughs> anyway i hope they're going to email me back and say that you can turn the lights off but as it is um, i probably wouldn't carry on using this especially not out in public so if you did enjoy the review guys please give it a little thumbs up and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing too and make sure you hit the little bell notification you'll be notified of all my latest videos now i've got my own website too it's mf8.co.uk and you can also find me on facebook instagram and twitter so until next time i'll catch you all again very soon okay cheers